Hi there. This is Alf from GamingGeek.net and I'm going back to the Anvernic RG405M uh, with a Nintendo 64 game. Uh, it's, this is, I'm planning for this to be a weekend episode. Uh, this is Conker's Bad Fur Day. So, not sure about the interest in uh, Nintendo 64 games uh, for this device, but I really think that um, any owners of Anvernic RG405M um, are missing out if you know if, if you don't uh, try a Nintendo 64 games on this device. I think it's a uh, perfect for it. Uh, it has the power and uh, it's got the layout right of the controls because you have your um, analog stick here as the primary control function so uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, Congress bad for the day I chose this because I was quite entertained when I played this originally on uh, the Anbrinic RG353V if I'm not mistaken um, and I wasn't pleased with the performance, so uh, I think uh, playing this game is best suited for a more powerful device like the 405M. I'm also uh, trying to add to my Nintendo 64 playlist uh, for the 405M, uh, so here we go. I honestly don't like uh, the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 1 era because the the 3D graphics uh, of that time were still too raw, I would say, um, too low tech. I don't think they stand up to today's standards, right? Unlike 16-bit games or you know pixel art games, where they uh, still look good uh, even if they're 2D. But 3D games, I don't like them anymore. But uh, Conker's Bad for Day is one exception, and with upscaling, it still looks pretty good, well, right? There I am. Conker the King. Yeah. King of all the land. Who would have thought that? But how do I come to this? I you say. And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? Now you're awful, Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. What a day that was. It's what I call a bad fur day. Oh, right. So, in, in this game, aside from being a, a good game in terms of mechanics and design, uh, it's also full of uh, personality, right? <laughs> so I wanted to revisit this. There we have Barry. Yeah, full of personality. It's just really uh, funny. Uh, uh, I don't feel so good now. You guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. There you I'll go. go oh, oh, no, now I'm playing this via um, 
Why am I using to place a uh, Mupin N64 Pro or something? The the paid version. And uh, in terms of the settings, uh, you can actually use the preset uh, profiles. Uh, after mapping controls, I just use the very accurate uh, and uh, Glide N64 very accurate emulation profile. Not a lot to do in terms of setup, right? But um, looks really good uh, graphics-wise. Yeah, and uh, you might see some weird uh, waves or lines uh, in my video. It's really how the 405M screen is reacting to my camera. Something about refresh rate or something like that, but. Um, in your hand, it doesn't look like that, right? So you won't see those weird waves like uh, motion on the screen. So, really bad hangover for Conquer. Alright, so, I like how, uh, because he's drunk, he can barely move. There. Oops. Can we climb here? Oops. Weird. I'm not sure why the emulator menu was being triggered by the, uh, the B button earlier, but... Oh, it says here B. All right. I guess we'll come back to, to that area. Later, I forgot exactly how to play this. Right, so when when you have this at a very accurate, uh, you have all of the uh, graphical effects like the shadows and everything, right? Help 
I mean, the dialogue is so funny, and you can't help but just, you know, be quiet and pay attention to it. Alright, so what just happened? That's bad news because uh, we can't skip uh, the cutscenes at all because I haven't seen seen them yet. All right. Oh. Yeah, Conker talks so much. Uh, I don't want to interrupt him. Um, are you sure you got that? I did, I did. Alright, so... Where's my Z button though? Oh, alright. So it will depend on what you map to your... Uh, as your Z button. Oh, no, no. Oh, man. No worries, because we've got a way to make it back here. So for me, performance is really solid so far, even though we're at very accurate. And if we start to encounter some issues, then we can easily swap it to um, accurate, right? Uh, but I want to push this device uh, as hard as I can, so...
All right. Ooh. I think I made it. Although it's uh, closed right now. I wonder if we can like jump forward. Uh, do a high jump forward. Um, all right. Yeah, when I play this on the Anvernic RG three five three V, some of the graphics aren't complete, right? Actually, most of the graphics aren't complete, like the the flowers. Oh no, man, I keep falling down. Get it right this time. Yeah, those mushrooms. Oh no, crud. Man. Yeah, somehow I don't, I dislike the, these uh, 3D games from before because they keep on making you do these platforming challenges like uh, right now. Um, It can get difficult, right? All right, let's get it right this time. Oh my goodness, look at that. I just, you know, ran too far. And then I slipped off the edge of the... All right. Yeah, early on you're gonna have to like uh, master that move. Crouch, jump, and then tail spin. Ah. I wonder where we're supposed to go now.
Mm. Yeah, okay. oh, very brutal. All right, I've got it right this time. It's um, been a while since I last played this, uh, to be honest. All right, try not to be too much in a rush because that's usually uh, what causes mistakes, right? Okay, so... I didn't even try this earlier. All right, I think um, I would have been faster with this. Oh no, I pressed the A button. I wanted to jump. Jeez. Seriously, I pressed the A button. I wonder why uh, Conqueror's jump earlier seemed higher. All right. He had a frying pan all along. It's weird that this entire sequence was just for Conquer to remember that he had a frying pan. Alright. Oh yeah. I can't believe it was uh, that simple. All right. Where were we? Straight pass? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Jeez. Yeah, I guess you really need to... Oh no! Oh, crud. You really need to... Uh, get your platforming... Uh, skills perfect for, for this game. I've been missing them out. That's weird.
I'm not sure what's wrong. Maybe I'm just tired today. Or I'm not used to the sensitivity of the... Because I fell short, right? Uh, I mean, when I was trying to jump from the boulder to the wooden platform, I, I was short. Alright, but I know that there are a lot of people who like these kinds of games. Collectathons, they call it. Or 3D platformers. Right. Yeah, I see if I get short. Man, where should I go? Like that one, oh man. Oh god. Yeah, that's why I've been, uh, you know, choosy with uh, the games that I'm trying out. Because when, if they're too hard, um, they just stress me out and it's one thing to to play a game I'm not interested in but it's another to play a game that gets me frustrated so I've uh, I've been rejecting or um, passing on some game requests right? I wonder what's wrong here. Um, why I'm not making it. Oh, oh, what the? My goodness, what's wrong? Yeah, it gets frustrating when you've done the same thing. Like, how many times have I jumped across these two platforms, right? It's... I don't know what's wrong. There's nothing else here. Maybe I'm pressing the button too early. So the... the well, I think what I'm doing is correct, but something's not working. All right, finally, man. I wonder what, why I wasn't uh, making it earlier. fall back into the uh, lake below the waterfall all right man jeez yeah the platforming uh early requirement early on is really really Trick. 
point. Can't believe that um, it's like this in the first sequence of the game. I don't remember. I think I also got stuck here the, the first time that I was trying it. Anyhow, we're here. Those sunflowers remind me of Plants for Zombies. And... Yeah, if uh, I... Clean slide, yeah, clean slide. Uh, that's, uh, that's a grab of chocolate, it's kind of working. Uh, that's voodoo, that's voodoo. Add the f***ing window with that. All right, and now we're in the... Uh, actually, it's like the first main area, right? And uh, earlier it was just an introductory area. Where were we supposed to go now? Yeah, the color is really, really vivid. Maybe I should go towards the nice part. Just follow the signs. Oh. Alright, it's time for a conquer to actually try to get it.
It was funny that it was just this easy all along, right? I got stuck there for a long time. All right. It's so hard to get the lighting right. All right, that was quick. All right, so now that we have some money, where are we going? Oh, here you go.
All right, Con contact sensitive buttons. Right now, where where can we go and climb this? Ooh. Ooh. Faster than me? Yeah. Frying pan's not working on that. Go to the pooey. The pooey area. Like even the, the the minion doesn't hate. I wonder if we're gonna be working with that guy. I mean, Conker's gonna be working with that guy soon. All right, I don't like the look of that. I wonder what that is. Oh wow, he jumped on this. Somebody asked, somebody's asking for help, but I don't even know what to do. supposed to do here oh oh chocolate we needed that all right Alright, I think I skipped something. 
Oh no. Ugh. So we need to get rid of the mouse, right? Jeez. This is going to be tough. So. So. Somehow we're going to transport one of these cheese. Alright. Let's see if we have what it takes. Tough though because there are two. I wonder if we can take the long, long way around. No, I'm definitely not here. Oh no. Oh shoot. Man. Well, let's see if there is a way uh, here using the long way. Yeah, it looks like there is, right? I wish I could just jump right over there. And... <sighs> We're gonna have to walk all the way past, but let's make that our last um, quest. Delivering the cheese. Let me see if um, if we walk here. Is it walking or swimming? It looks like it's walking, so it might work. I'm gonna make it my final quest to deliver that piece of cheese. I wonder what that guy's all about.
Alright, I can, like, try here. This is quicker, but... I don't know. I'm gonna try the long way first. See if, uh... See if this is viable. If I didn't slip earlier, and this would all this would have already been done. All right. So, oh no, what the? All right, so that's not gonna work. Then I better learn this one. Oh man. Oh my goodness, what the... This is tough. Let's get some chocolate first. Alright, I wonder what the proper solution is to this puzzle. Yeah, let's see how fast we can... We're gonna do something first, just to trial it out. Alright, so when we have that, and then we can toss it, and it explodes. Alright, so... So the problem is... Alright. That was nice. Ooh, ooh. I'd like That's okay. Didn't seem like it was uh that went, that went smoothly, so do it again. Oh saved. Alright. But the timing has to be right. Okay. That wasn't the right timing, obviously. Oh, man. What the heck? 
I almost bought it there because the camera turned around on me and uh, I almost got squished. Thankfully it didn't, but need to get some chocolate. Man, this wouldn't have been too too hard if the cheese didn't like get away from me after some time. But they do. So it puts a little bit of time pressure. They're hoping that the these mellow um boxes are you know, facing in the right direction when you... Oh no, 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 no. Can't afford any delays. Alright. Alright, well... I want an explosive finale, so... We're going after it, but uh, I'm going this way rather than the other side so we can avoid, you know, uh, getting crushed by the metal boxes, but also so that we can get another chocolate bar. Or, well, not really bar, but square. Right. It's a wonder how what the time pressure can do to uh, a person, right? Like, oh my goodness, come on, the camera's not cooperating. Alright, perfect. Alright, I hope he faces me. Alright, that's exactly what I want. Oh, Alright, that was a little bit annoying. Uh, I am getting frustrated, I will have to admit. Oh man, why, why are... This game... You can... I mean, it's, it's not that hard, I guess. But... You know, first hour and, you know, it's already... Oh my goodness. Alright, made it fast the first one. All right, I'll make it past this one too. All right, don't slip. All right. Something real neat inside the barn. Where?
Am I in the, the right? Oh, we got some cash. Yeah, Conquer hasn't learned this lesson yet. Okay, how do we get into the bar? Oh, well, he. All right, well, what side was that? Uh, oh. Well, would you look at that? I slip off the roof. And I did. forgot about this. Alright, well that's a tail. So I guess it was a good idea. Well, it was fortunate for me to have slipped off that roof because... Uh, we saw that scene. I don't think we would have seen that scene if uh, I didn't slip out. Oh, what am I saying? All right. So now that uh, we've done our dirty deed and the mouse has been eliminated, we're gonna go and uh, get our reward, which is the barn. Right, what's inside the barn? Why is it barred? Didn't I... Didn't I win that already? Oh no.
Or is there a different entrance? I wonder if we can use this. No. Nope. Jeez. Oh. Have to do that all over again. Well, it's not that hard. I wonder if the, the door is here or if we saw a different door. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna die from here. Please. Yeah, and don't tell me the... The barn is so close. So yeah, we'll end it here. I wanna go through that again. Um, Conqueror's Bad 4 Day, right? Uh, original release on the Nintendo 64. I'm playing it using uh, Mupin N64 Pro Z or something like that. Oh, here. Wow. Great. All right. I get to finally see what's inside the barn as I close this. Are those enemies? What's going on? Alright, yeah, Conquer's bad for a day. That plays great on the... Am I supposed to... Right, that's it. I'm just gonna give you a whooping. Here we go. 
Ooh. It looks like it's a boss fight, so should I? How can I end this, right? So. I wonder how this works. Maybe the, the pitchfork should... Where are you? Maybe the pitchfork gets rid of them. And there's some chocolate there. Let's get that. that Oh, that was fast. I don't think what I just saw it was safe for um, YouTube, so you're probably not gonna see what I just saw uh, unless you play the game um, yeah there's a switch here now I can't stop from from playing it but yeah let's see oh there's um, probably uh, the mrs. B's husband okay well um, now I'm definitely going to end uh, this Conquer's bad for the original release on the Nintendo 64. Plays really well on the Anbrinic RG405M using um, Mupin, uh, N64, Mupin 64 MZ Pro or something like that. The paid version. Oh wow. He's gonna, gonna want revenge. Hmm. Yeah, really, really, really fun game. A little bit frustrating, but I wasn't in the mood for retries. But I think I'll be okay with this if I'm really playing it for real. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> what? Well, hmm, what's in it for me? 
Ah. Oh. I thought you were Betty. All right, yes, I'll end it there. Uh, once again, this is Al from GamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.